Hello, welcome to my home, Interior UK. I'm Carly Madvani, a London-based interior designer. Come on in. So this is a lounge and office together. This room is used for multiple people on multiple different days of the week and the weekend. We're fortunate because of the size of it that we can really enjoy a large meeting table where I welcome clients and we go through the journey of the design that we are selecting. This area is more for lounging for the family and I. We listen to music, put my feet up and enjoy a relaxing atmosphere. We're lucky with the height. The trees are super tall and create some nice natural foliage which connects well with the garden. These chairs are super comfortable and really large because of the volume of this room. It's 3.7 metres high. Welcome to the spa. Really lucky in London to have this space. But I had to smash through two bathrooms to get it. It's larger. It includes a sauna. This is why. Which is gorgeous for weekends to get really hot, rest and restore. To create more flow in this space, we cut the corner off this step, making it nice and smooth. So as you walk around, it just feels more of a flow, which is really the essence of what we wanted in here. All of my friends and family want to stay in this guest room. It's booked up for a year. Guests arrive, suitcases go under the bed, keeping it nice and clear. Colours are calm until you see the feature wall, which adds a bit of drama. The art is soft thread rather than a painting or anything with glass, just to keep everything really nice and inviting. These handmade doors are my favourite design feature in this apartment. The wood is a combination of walnut and oak and eucalyptus. My mother's from Australia, so I kept the eucalyptus in there specifically to be reminded of her with her in my home. The other really cool thing about it is that hallways are usually boring. This brings some detail, but also they hide so much junk behind. Welcome to the party kitchen. This space is to create and cater for parties that we have as family and friends outside and people come here to make food, make drinks, freezer full of ice, loads of space to put everything away. And we're fortunate this isn't our main kitchen, but added on extra for us to maximize those fun weekends, high days and holidays, festivities and celebrations. All equipped, still with timeless classic design to finish off all the doors and the work surfaces. As lots of us did during lockdown, got really frustrated that we couldn't enjoy the gyms locally. I designed, converted this bedroom into a gym. My favorite sport is like kickboxing, boxing, Muay Thai. So I installed a bag to get out, some frustration. I have friends come, we do a bit of sparring and put the tunes really loud and enjoy that. I wanted to include some like residential features so it didn't feel like a commercial gym with the wooden tones and the lights which I put in any space so that it's cohesive with the home. Originally, I only owned the downstairs flat. We purchased this upstairs flat and put in this stairway. I designed the banister and the balustrade in bronze with this nice walnut. I designed these stairs for the end one to have no banister and this last section to be rounded off. It just allows for access from both ways, creates nice flow in the home. Welcome to my lounge to relax. Feet up, good film, or the sport with Spurs supporters, don't shoot me. Design classics, handmade wallpaper, embroidered for a bespoke design at the back, indoor, outdoor, pulling the garden inside this room. Really beautiful, simple pendant, bit unusual rather than a kind of chandelier, the ceiling's quite low. 
Nice bookcase which we style with books and other ornaments rather than filling with usual family bits and pieces, I should say. And this gorgeous, super soft knoll sofa, which I've always loved. So this patio used to be all concrete. I expanded it, added these really cool tiles with a kind of Edwardian design to keep it with the exterior architecture and took a lot of time to make it into a rug formation to put the outdoor furniture within it, add the lighting. And now this space is a true indoor-outdoor with the lounge one side, the sofa in the middle. We have dining table and a barbecue for the weekends. And additionally, we craned over this huge hot tub spa, which opens electronically, access through to a shower room. And this area is really used by the family during the summer and the winter. And I love it here. We can invite people around, have the party kitchen, bring us down some food and relax on this cool outdoor sofa set that's female designed from a lady in Australia put the lanterns on and create a load of atmosphere out of here. Welcome to my dining space. Here the family and I have lots of beautiful big meals in front of this stunning feature wallpaper. You may have noticed I'm totally obsessed with birds. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because my mother's Australian, but I love to put them everywhere and invite the outside in. Come through the secret door into a room I converted from a little side bedroom into the pool shower space that leads out onto the pool that you'll see. So this fun double shower bathroom is purposely for our outdoor space. I usually keep calm colours, but here I went a little bit crazy and bold and bright because it's connected more to the garden, which is usually nice and bright, rather than being that calm tone. So these walls are heated so that all the towels can dry. I have two teenagers and loads of teenage friends, so I had to make sure that I could maximise the space to hang everything. And a little sliding door into a cute little WC hidden away behind a stud wall and these lovely big showers to shower off after fun times. The advice I would give to young and up and coming designers would be to truly immerse yourself in the world of interior design in any way that you can. Be aware of your surroundings, notice design details, visit interesting places of an abundance of variety. The one thing that I'm grateful for is a positive outlook on life. I have it in my work, I have it in my family and friends, and I rely on it and I find it really useful. So I'm super grateful for that. You can find me over on my Instagram account, nw3interiors. We share our recent work and give tips and other design advice on stories. And website's always there for portfolio updates. Yeah.